What is up Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'm bringing you yet another awesome Corvid by Wix tutorial. So today we're going to dive into how to do split A-B testing utilizing the Wix release manager. Now I know these are all new terms on this channel but we're going to explain it thoroughly in today's video. But before we jump in We've got an awesome community over here at Wix Nation, and I'd love you to be a part of it. If you're brand new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below so you never miss any Wix training content, and you get to be part of this awesome community. Now, let's dive into today's tutorial, which is the Wix Release Manager utilizing Corvid and the split A-B testing. So in front of me here, I've got a sample site that I kind of threw together, well, just to throw together. And what it is, is it's just a home page. Now, utilizing the Wix release manager, what we can do is we can create an additional version of our home page and use split testing to figure out what converts the best. So this is especially, especially useful in things like lead conversion, lead generation, online store, so e-commerce, testing what styles of pages convert into customers the best. Split A-B testing is an absolutely amazing tool to utilize and if you have the ability to do so, you need to hop on it because you could be leaving opportunity on the table and no one wants to leave opportunity on the table. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to do it. Number one, you have to design your whole website, right? Get the home page, whatever page you want to do the split testing on is what you need to follow with next. So once you've got your site developed, you've got your published version out there, what you can do is whatever page you want to split test on, you can go in and you can make changes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to publish this version right here, okay? And now we've got a published version of this in particular site. Now, if I want to create a B test or a split A B test, what I would do is I could now change this up. Maybe I want to change the look of the button on this version. Yes, you do change it on this exact page, this exact version, and you'll see why in just a moment. So now I'm going to change the design. Maybe instead of a rounded button, we're thinking maybe a square bolded button, a rectangle bolded button will convert better. And maybe instead of request a free quote, uh, book a free consultation will convert, oh, that's spelled wrong, consultation, maybe that'll convert better than request a free quote. So, now, I'm doing a very, very minor adjustment of this, and some of you may have minor adjustments just like that, but if you want to change your version of that in particular page significantly, be my guest. You can go ahead and change it as much as you want. But sometimes there's only small adjustments that need to be made in a split A-B test to test different dynamics and different elements. Typically what you want to do is you want to test one little item at a time to figure out if it makes a change and if it makes a difference rather than spending and investing all of your time into redesigning an entire page. It's good to test individual elements on the page. So now that we've got an element that we're looking to change, what we're going to do is we're going to save this version of the site now with the new element on here, and then we're going to go up here to site. You're going to see release manager, but above that you're going to see create release candidate. So what you're going to do is you're going to click create release candidate. Now what you've done is you've added a new version of your site. This is a test version that contains your release manager, your B test. So there's your A test, which is your already published site, and then you've got your whatever you're testing it against, right? Your additional test page, and that's your B test. So that is what is created once you click release candidate or create release candidate. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go to release manager right here, and you're going to click that. And once we get that open, we're going to see something. This is our release manager, okay? So we see two different versions here. We see the published version, and you can see exposures at 100%. I'll explain that in a moment. 
you can see the release candidate. And then you can see when each of these versions have been adjusted and who adjusted them. So you, you can see the site owner, in this case me, was the person that adjusted these. Maybe you've got a developer on your team or someone in your business that makes these changes for you, like a marketing director. Uh, if they have a account or a user in your Wix site, it'll show that they're the person that made this adjustment and exactly what date and time that adjustment was made. So it's kind of nice. But what we see here is we then see, or excuse me, we now have to make sure our release candidate is getting exposed. So let's explain exposure. So exposure, so it shows that the published version is 100% exposure. What does this mean? Well, it means that 100% of the visits to your website or to that in particular page, whatever that may be, are going to show this published version. However, we want to create a split test, right? So we want to make it 50-50 or maybe 75-25. So we want to test out two different versions. In order to make that happen, we have to change the exposure on the release candidate because that's the second version. So in order to do this, we go over to these three little dots, we'll click them, and then we'll click Edit Exposure. Now what you do is you could simply change this to 50 and then click Save. And now what will happen is when someone goes to your site or this in particular page, 50% of that traffic will see the current published version, your initial A test, and 50% of that traffic will see the release candidate, your B test. And because of that, you will then be able to accurately test which one converts better. Maybe you're testing conversions, maybe you're testing something completely different. It doesn't really matter what the test is, but this allows you to control the exposure of traffic and who sees what. Now you don't get to pick exactly what person sees what page. Wix will automatically do that based off of the divvying up of the traffic, but you've now got it set to 50% of that traffic will see the current version, the A test, and 50% of that version or traffic will see the release candidate, the B test, right? So now you can test it. Maybe, let's throw in another scenario, maybe you start to see that the published version is just doing better than the release candidate. It's just way ahead of the B test. If that's the case and you wanna maybe drop the exposure on the release candidate, all you gotta do is come back, edit exposure, and then maybe you want 25% now. So you want 75% of the traffic to see the regular initial published version and you want 25% of the traffic to see that release candidate. And just like that, you've got a A-B test that you can now look at and see how traffic is being converted and where those leads are coming from and which pages are doing better, which published version is doing better. And this release manager gives you all of that right here. In addition to that, you see a site history. So you can actually view and restore the previous version of your website if you decide, eh, you know what, I'm done with this A-B test. You can go ahead and restore the previous version of your website by clicking that restore button. And that's how to utilize split A-B testing with the Wix release manager that Corvid made possible. So if this video helped you guys out, drop a like down below. If you've got any questions regarding this or want to say how amazingly cool it is, comment down below. I'd be sure to answer and address any questions or comments you may have. And last but not least, guys, we talked about this once. We're talking about it again. If you're not part of the Wix Nation community here at Wix Training Academy, click that subscribe button so you can join that community and so you don't miss any Wix training content. Once again, I appreciate all of your help. And if you want to save some time, some stress, and some frustration when developing your website, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below. And if you'd like to work with my team and I personally on your development project, you can either click work with us or scroll to the bottom here and submit your project and we will be in touch as soon as possible. And you can also join our free Wix Training Academy. That's right, absolutely free. Access to tons of Wix training material, webinars, Corvid tutorials, code snippets, and more. So if that's something that interests you, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. Other than that, I appreciate you tuning in today's video, and I will catch you on the next one.